Good evening. This is the nine month status update of the Nano Reef upgrade project. And it has been more than a boring month. Actually, we do have some action in this tank now. Starting off with the live status or the status of the living, um, the tank and the inhabitants, they're doing good. I've managed to speed up growth a little bit on the uh, SPS corals, but I'll get back to why a little bit later. Furthermore, I actually moved in one Montipora to the tank from my other project, uh, and also I removed the frags out of the tank. Now we do have some uh, green hair algae showing in the tank. Uh, the tank was barren for a few months uh, ahead of this, but uh, now some uh, green hair algae are showing again. I think it will settle. It's a temporary. Um, it's a temporary spike, but uh, I'll get back to why I think I'm a little bit off balance in the tank for now. Okay. Yeah. So this. This episode is called No, Lang uh, no Longer Low Tech. And uh, to get back, this tank started with the low tech ambitions. But now, with the latest upgrade, I no longer consider it low tech. And I have updated it with an aquamatic reef doser, uh, one channel. And then I'm dosing the uh, Tropic Marine all for reef right now, trying out that for three weeks. And the story goes, why I'm doing that and why I'm changing, that I have been replacing about 50% of the water per week, which I do consider a lot. Some of this water I do reuse in a basement system for coral growth, which worked Yeah, in the basement system. It's not on YouTube, but this worked great at the beginning. But that system started performing badly and eventually I started investigating and the investigation set off testing and also testing in this tank. So yeah, you see here that I've started testing the alkalinity, calcium, magnesium and uh, phosphate and uh, nitrate as well. Now. The maintenance philosophy that I've kept, yeah, first of all, starting if we so explain how we got here. SPS, they consume carbonates, uh, calcium and magnesium as well, of course. But I wanted to avoid dosing and measuring parameters in this simple setup. I wanted to keep it low tech and uh, robust, but of course, measure salinity. That one you have to measure and check. And uh, by running a high carbonate uh, salt mixed with calcather enriched uh, fresh water, so I, the fresh water I'm mis mixing in typically holds uh, already a hardness of 2.8. And then I replace 50% uh, per week. Yeah, I did anticipate with this setup that the carbonate hardness or alkalinity would be jumping between uh, 11 and 8. So having the SPS consuming during the week and then I do a big water change and then uh, I spike uh, carbonate hardness back up to 11. That didn't happen. So the theory was, yeah, you see it here, I highlight in, in a graph. The theory I had was that yeah, I start at somewhere around 11 in alkalinity and then during seven days it drops somewhere down to eight and then I replace 50% of the water and then it spikes to 11 again and then it suddenly drops. But now theory versus practice actually what I realized uh, starting to do the measurement that that didn't happen. Uh, when I do the water change, I spike my carbonate hardness to 8 and then during the week it drops down to, to 2 actually. 
So I was below two in carbonate hardness of this tank. And yeah, let's just say that I'm not too happy about that. I had been suspecting it for a few months because I did see that typically the growth was very much or the white tips of the SPS corals was clearly present when I did the water change, but then they slowed down during the week. So I was thinking that oh, probably they are growing too much. And yeah, now I know. So not happy with this. And um, um, so what do you do? You change, you develop a new theory. So the new theory, which I've been running now for three weeks, uh, trying to get it to good level is that I changed the salt to the blue bucket of the Red Sea, which keeps an average alkalinity of eight. And then on top of this, I am dosing the all for reef uh, with uh, the uh, reef doser Evo one. And then I started doing uh, cal calcium and uh, alkalinity and magnesium measurements. And with that, I am planning to keep a stable alkalinity of around 8, possibly go up to 9. That's the new theory. And if we take a step back on that, look at the tank where we're running now and focus on technology. Yeah, so I am having a circulation pump, electronically controlled heater, Wi-Fi controlled light. Wi-Fi controlled stream pump, skimmer, reactor, automatic top-off unit, automatic feeder, automatic trace element doser. So I do feel I would be out of line stating that um, this is a low-tech reef tank. I think it is packing... Uh, quite a lot of technology. But yeah, so far inhabitants have been doing good and uh, they are growing. And now as I am keeping up alkalinity uh, around a stable eight, the growth is a lot more present in the tank than we were a few weeks ago. That said, I'd like to thank you for your attention and wish you a pleasant evening and stay tuned. Bye bye.